Welcome back to Limbus Company, Canto 6. Last time, we dealt with a little bit of a distorted Heathcliff, and also Linton melted. We still don't know exactly what's happening there. In the meantime, it looks like we've got more dead rabbits. So let's just get into it, shall we? Oh yeah, and we get to reorganize our team a little bit. Uh, we'll get rid of you. We need to make sure we're running Sun you know, for the bit, right? Very interesting, they're also very much for the bit, uh, because I don't want to use exclusively good IDs, right? Um, and, you know, Hong Lu is going to rumble into dust, but it happens, right? Yeah, that's what happened to Linden. A uh, little bit strange. A perfected identity? Who is he talking about? He's coming back. Heathcliff, now fully primed. Huh? Yes, I have returned. The different take on Heathcliff question mark, though, I presume. I, who's given himself to become a sin, have returned to put an end to us all. He is on a horse. You. Oh! You accursed beast! Infernal demon! You finally come to take our manor, have you? Mistress, I shall not flirt that interloper who dared to stay in the honor of our men. <laughs> He's been slaughtered already. <laughs> oh yeah, here's the actual drip. This is what this is what the heat of the is actually gonna look like. Look at that cloak. Every weathering height at the end of all things in every world eventually became mine. Every single death Hindley and Linton suffered was pathetic and writhing, and that shall be an immutable truth for all eternity to come. Thus, Josephine, it is only right that you are mine as well. You are bound to heed my command. Mistress, this vagabond is... I tire of your rambling, your mistress. He is nothing but a rotting corpse, her flesh decayed and bones desiccated. Yeah, because her mistress is like Kathy's mom, I believe, right? Okay, flash the red to show the murder. Josephine fell limp and motionless in Heathcliff's grasp. Ah, Josephine, Hindley, Linton, all their pitiful souls tangled and tattered to this accursed destiny in every world. I have seen you far too many times in far too many worlds. I shall take you away from here, you pitiful souls who remain bound to Wuthering Heights even in death. The husks of dead Pegatula, Linton's, Hindley's, Josephine's, all began to materialize and rise. They began to form a procession. Countless bodies, husks, the wailing things in their wake, all joined the march. Please. Just all of them, okay. All the mirror worlds, different variations on them. And he is himself riding like a wolf of death, looking like one of the horsemen of the apocalypse. And thus approaches the final chapter of this tale. The other Heathcliff stands on the vanguard of the march and lifts Catherine's coffin onto his back. You! You can't do that to Catherine! Fine. I suppose we could play a game. It has been a while, hasn't it? Remember, we used to play games with Catherine on the rooftop of this manor. Why not reminisce upon that sweet memory, hmm? If you wish to join us, pursue me. Pursue me and rise through the stairwell until your strength fails, Heathcliff. Heathcliff takes a step forward to seize him, but... The endless march stands in his way. Oh, but it will not be that easy, nor should it be. Your heart toward Catherine shan't be realized so painlessly. You must suffer more. Let desperation consume you. Become frenzied in your pursuit. The rooftop. Indeed, the roof houses the golden bow. When the two golden bows come into physical contact with one another, they... What happens, Faust? I can think of a thousand different outcomes. I don't know what he's planning to do with Catherine, but we have to stop him. We have to. Our retreat's been cut off. No way forward, no way back. 
Are they Hindley, Linton, and Josephine from other worlds? They appear to be imperfect identities summoned from worlds chosen at random. It is the fate that awaits all those who become thralls to that Heathla. A phenomenon in which a mirror world entity wreaks havoc across the dimensions in pursuit of every Heathla. In other words, the Wild Hunt. Like the nocturnal march of a hundred demons. Oh yeah, Ryoshi mentioned that in the Walpurgis uh, cutscene. And it's some Japanese myth or something, right? So, there's no end to them. He is the conduit that has brought them all to this world. He leads this army at its vanguard, as its Air Kong, or the Air King. This army will never stop until the Air King's orders are withdrawn. I don't know how to pronounce it. I know it's a classic. I know it's a classic, like, fairy tale or something. I don't know much about it, though. A brutal tempest descends... It really does. It seems like we're starting with just dead rabbits, though. Unless everything's... even Unless they're, like, thralls or whatever. Yeah. Hindley the Wild Hunt, Fierce the Rabbit Henchman. The hitbox venue seems a little bit janky. I guess that's just how it is. That's fine. And recovery. The SP is less low. Gain offense level up. Take damage himself with each clash and a clash. Effect does not kill you. Okay. Yeah, it's a, it's a flawed handly. Very funny a bit. That's for sure. Get a good gloom resonance going. You're struggling. You might be fine. You're struggling. You're probably not fine. Look at the full gloom resonance for the bit, right? Oh, well, you probably don't want to because the real goal here is probably going to be to get some of the funny egos to trigger. Because that would be cool. We'll have to see if we can manage that though, right? Here at the inside, nice. We get that rolling on you then. Let's see, binds is gloom. We need lust. We need pride. We need envy. How much do we need? I think we're already set on gloom, right? Yeah. I guess I can pull it up here too. So we need two lust. We need two pride and three envy. We'll do that then. We get a little bit of lust, a little bit of pride, a little bit of envy. The goal is going to be to get the funny ego off second wave, probably. If there is a second wave here. Don't think we'll be able to get the resources for the first wave. And even if we did, it probably wouldn't be super worth it. Although it might be. Who's to say, really? The Wild Hunt, though. Like, Fab's already had a name, like, for this, like, ah, oh, yes, the Wild Hunt. I think it's a big literary reference. I think that's the thing. Urkong, like, however you're supposed to pronounce it. It's a thing. I think this turn will be good, right? We can also actually go for the spread out if we want, and it's probably a better idea than not going for the spread out, right? Sure. We have the counter, too, because why not? After coming with, you know, the big, you know, the Sunglyph solo I did lately, I've kind of been in, you know, Sunglyph solo type move. We can get the counter off, then we get the spread out. A little the same thing, right? And yeah, we will actually have the Heat with Ego ready in time, but we're not going to use it here, of course. We'll wait towards the second wave, and then we'll probably just immediately pull it off. But yeah, only 10 sanity costs is super cool for the actual Binds Ego, but of course it's constant sanity drain for several turns afterwards. Good enough though, right? Yeah. So we can also try preparing for Otis's as well. Otis's means we need more, a bunch more sloth and pride though. Not stuff we have in abundance. Might be a little hard to do then. That's fine. Gonna save a lot of strong attacks, but eh. Go crazy, right? Do they have any panic type because they're like the weird wild hunt ones? They might. It looked like there was a weird looking panic there. I didn't actually read what it said, but it's probably something unique. You're getting some echoes of the mana, not that it matters too much. Nightmare Hunt is going to stagger you. And once you're staggered, you're going to take a lot of damage from everything. So our flurry of random attacks should 
do the job. We also do have as mistress as an as mistress commands ready, so that'll be solid. Cool. And Heathcliff should be able to get the kill. Maybe not. Mary just didn't clear she'll be able to get the kill. Shh. Just barely though. Okay, cool. Are we gonna see like a Josephine or something here? Yes, we are. What's the Sandy though? Hatred. They're all gonna have hatred, I see. Alright. Well, we've got a funny ego to use. Pull it out here. Next turn gain before the king and binds. Oh, uh, you're hopeless. You can dodge. A lot of gloom going on here. We could actually go full gloom if we wanted to, right? Pull out, you know, the bygone days for the bit, too. You're the only one who isn't going for gloom, but that's fine. I mean, you're gonna get funny skill one off though, so that's that's more worth it, right? Oh, I'm also receiving reports. I'll just see if there's a case. Maybe, maybe. Raw. Very cool, that's for sure. We counter a little bit, that's fine. We got some puddle stomping to do. Nice. Josephine versus Josephine. I'm curious, well, like, a constant Sandrine, is that a status effect? I didn't see if there was a status effect under Gregor. So let's see. Do you have a Sandrine, like, losing status effect? Or something? You don't, it's just gonna be, it's gonna happen though, right? But yeah, so you're gonna minimum speed this turn, but you've got before the king and binds. So your single target stuff becomes mass attack. Very interesting, especially because you do have a single target ego from body stack, but also Crow's ADD also is single target. So it didn't, because it, it does it. Yeah, I think it doesn't it doesn't need to be like non ego it just needs to be single target. That's the only conditional it's got, right? At least that's what it looks like. We'll get to do some damage off. Fortunately, uh even if he took his chance attack, which he might it's not, it's not certain whether or not, you know, Josephine's just dead dead here. Alright, losing HP on Clash Money, she's just dead dead here. So yeah, we're not gonna be able to see Heathcliff mass attack. And even if we did, um... Can they have the same person multiple times? Did it, did it specify other? I don't remember if it specified if it had to be other people, or if it just hit the lowest people. It probably is other, though. There we go, you did the most damage, of course, Suncliff, my beloved. Sinclair did the least damage, of course, Mariachi Sinclair, my beloved. Wild Hunt 2, more of the same, it seems. Or might be a little different. More of the same, and there's some Pekatula this time. But it is a little bit different, right? Something. That is a cool looking CG, though, that's for sure. God. Heathcliff was heavily wounded. It looks like he could hardly stand, let alone wield a weapon. <laughs> the club clattered to the floor and rolled away as the last vestiges of strength left him. Nepalo. 
and I left this manor by my own volition, I... I promised to myself that I would return a changed man. So that I could at least stand proud before Catherine, so that she won't be embarrassed of me. But look at me. I couldn't protect her in the end. I can't even get near to her to or hold my weapons proper like an idiot. I know. I know that I don't. I know that I don't have anything to show from it in my life. I ain't educated. I've got a short fuse and a brutish personality. Tell me, clockhead. No, manager. This endless, overwhelming flood. Is this what it's like to face my sins? Was my life so wretched that I deserved to suffer this endless swarm of sins? That can't be true. I wanted to believe that it can't be true. That, with the will and the determination to forge on, the mist that once seemed impenetrable will one day part, and we will see the light at the end of the tunnel. That every struggle he endured, every lesson he's learned in this journey, couldn't have been for nothing. So please, please don't doubt the path I'm showing you. But... There's more of them. They number greater than the last. But when I've led you into such absolute darkness, without even a hint of light, what should I... When even I'm starting to feel lost, what should I... Do. Oh. Really is the depths of despair, isn't it? <laughs> it's so weird to see the one the dead rabbit henchman just standing in the back there. Veiled dead rabbit henchman, fancy. So yeah, you can see that they've got different, you know, classification stuff now. Very interesting. They just don't have classification stuff. Also, the slot ones have been renamed from, uh... What were they before? I forget what they were. Into Pig Rage, yeah, which is technically even more accurate from what I know. It's a bit of an accurate. Basically, the previous word they were using for the sloth sin was closer to Latin for, like, lazy, and this one's more accurate to actual, like, the sin of sloth itself. Sounds like a good change. I don't know enough about Latin to say for sure. That's just what I saw one person say. And that's good enough for me to trust them. Oh, you need a lot of heads to beat this. Unless you get some tails, nice. You get a little bit of funny echoes of the manor on that guy. Always nice. Okay, we win those, sure. I'll take it. <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Alright, you need to get a lot of heads there, honestly, if you have decent chances. Oh, there's the funny attack animation where you just get l eaten alive. It happens. You're guarding. You get protection when you guard, so you know. Sinclair Panada probably does zero damage whatsoever. You're just countering, so I'm ignoring you. That is new. Wonder if it's anything actually new. I don't think so. I think it's just showing a skill or something that I technically didn't have, you know, saved. Over oh, a second, I was like, wait, the one in the back is different. It felt like a little flat, but no, I realized. I thought the one in the back had, like, something covering its eye, like an eyelid or something. I thought it had its eye closed for some reason. But no, it's just the one in the front, like, little tentacle boulder thing blocking. That's fine. You got staggered, unfortunate. Let's see if we can manage this. Badly. Oh. Okay. Alright. We win those, I guess. It's it's something, right? Oof. We win those too, actually. That was a little surprising. I guess your sanity's actually doing pretty good, Faust, huh? That's nice then. Unveil, we win a clash, that's good. Got the stagger, that's good. Umbrella Thwack did actually win in the end. Alright, that's fine, I guess. Didn't really want to win, but sure. <laughs> What do we need to get your binds going? A lot of- one sloth, three pride. Okay. We'll work towards that slowly but surely. 
Playing with people that can actually win Clash is the right. Yeah, you can block there. No need to mess with that. I think that'll work well enough. Probably. Sure. Get a Gloom Resonance going. Very nice for the passives. Even more Sandy gain on Hong Lu is nice. He doesn't have three insight quite yet, unfortunately. He should soon. You're a max sanity, nice. I suppose by the time this video goes up, we have seen the trailers for the new IDs, huh? Once again, as per usual, I do record all of these the night the update comes out, so, uh... Apologies that I lack the knowledge on what exactly has come with the update, right? Wonder what the two star is going to be, though. It really depends. Are we actually going to fight any of these Lintons, I wonder? Because there's supposed to be, like, piles of Lintons along the other. We haven't fought Linton. So, like, will they commit to the bit? Guess we'll see. Is there two waves here? There is, yeah. I figured as much. That's right. Uh, sure, this will work. I'm only vaguely paying attention right now. Apologies for that. I'm just kind. I'm just kind of lost in thought at the moment. Little change in time, of course, but it's easy to get lost in one, in one's thoughts, right? As they say. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, the announcers. That's right. That's what I was forgetting. I was thinking like there's definitely something I'm forgetting, but I've got no clue what. I think that's it. I, th I think it's safe to say that's it. Just you left. Simple enough. We don't even have three inside on you. Why am I acting like we've got three inside on you? That's alright. I just kind of like defaulted to it, I guess. I don't know. I'm fine. Some sloth, but a bunch of dead rabbit henchmen. We've got four turns to do this. And we are. In dire need of some pride. Alright. Let's get some pride then. Dun 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 that's some pride. I guess we would have better pride if we had, like, I mean, who else has pride that would fit on the sinking team? Like, obviously, Spice Bush Skill 3. I guess Molarish would also be nice for a little bit of pride. That's fine. Your max sanity, rude. But alright. Not that big of a deal. We're winning a lot of clashes. Most people are decent than Sandy. Your Sandy isn't great still. Uh, maybe we can win a clash with you, though. Yeah, have you deal with the Grasp just so you can do something. SpongeBob. You cannot clash this turn, though, unless you clash with that guy. So I guess you gotta do that, and you've gotta go for a favorite instead. Alright. I, I, I have faith. You know, since when? Since when has? What? Since when have you your roles let me down? When has Linton Gregor's roles led me down? Ignore like how frequently he was getting bad like clashes on like favors and stuff like. In part two of this update, because it happened a lot there. Um, when has you have you ever wronged me? When has Linton Gregor ever wronged me? Right. I'm just repeating it multiple times because the bit is it feels like it's been a lot, but he's cool. But I can't hold against him too much, right? You got a stagger too, that's nice. How quaint. And we do win those, cool. Making making sure you're a max sanity, I suppose. And we Oh we actually won that! Sinclair won a clash! Never thought I'd see the day. You've actually got sanity. Who could have thought? Oh, we can ego. Let's do it then. Might as well, right? Mm, the top right, yeah, top right. Cool. 
do that. We get the gloom passives going too from that. That's nice. Nightmare hunt alongside getting a little bit of sanity, so that's good. And time for another good old binds. Yeah, a bot that only costs 10 is so insane because the head's chance is so good then. Like, you've got a 35% head chance on a Vav. Like, Zayn type rolls. That's the most insane part of it, really. You lose more sanity the next few turns, but it doesn't matter a lot of time in normal. In, like, mirror dungeons, especially. Like, fights do not last long enough for that to affect us much at all, right? Can't use Otis's, that's fine. I wasn't expecting to be able to. This is not a team to use Otis's binds, unfortunately. In order to really use many of the egos from this update, the Envy ones either. The screaming, the screaming, sh electric sh screaming, that's the name. God, it took me forever to get to that. Whoops. Yippee, victory. You tried a bit harder? You sure did. Wild Hunt 3, yeah. We're gonna get a lot of Wild Hunts, aren't we? And we're going back up the stairs. Is it like a mirror of this? No, it's just a, di it's a different angle entirely. All right. That's fine. Okay, more enemies. No story at all for this one. And it's just you two. Interesting. You good? Okay. Um, no thank you. Just, 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 just gonna be a little honest. Uh, I'll pass. We'll stick with you. We'll, we'll just attack the guys that aren't countering this turn right. Because that's fairly fine. We'll also do as much damage to that guy before he gets his guard off. So Because his guard's the one that'll give him... Even if we did attack the guys with counters, like, the thing is, like... We don't gain sanity from being countered. <laughs> Wouldn't help us out. God, seeing the pig... 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 pig, pig, pig the pig, pig, pigritia. I'm God. I don't know why I had so much trouble pronouncing it there. I'm bad at pronouncing things in general. That's that's the answer in case you're wondering. But regardless, uh, dun 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 dun. Yeah. Um, Remise, okay, cool. He wins these, he's actually guaranteed to win that, that's nice. A lot of sanity from that because of how many ties they were going. I was about to like, say he failed me once again, but like, it would have been fine enough if he failed me, right? It was actually kind of a marvel that he didn't fail me, right? It's kind of like the whole argument to like, oh, should you, uh, each shown by, you know, Insulting them when they fail, or like being nice when they succeed. Yeah. Nice. Unfortunately, she lost a coin there, so she didn't get her funny passive part to trigger. I don't think she could have either way, but that's fine. He's got good clashes. You do. You do nice. You're on kill duty. You're on kill duty. You can be on do a little extra damage to this guy duty. Cool. Remise, you've got a five damage of this turn because of how much sand you won from that incredible clash last turn. It makes a lot of sense. Very good. I didn't look. Is this a two wave or is this only a one wave for the bet? Because there was, in part two, there was a one-wave fight where it was just Pekka Tula, because it was four of the big ones. And this is five big ones. Oh, the previous fight we did it just have four big ones as a multi-wave fight, so... I don't know if those standards would work very well. Okay, we should have that been double up in that guy, that's fine. There is two waves, though. Good to know. Good to know. Some pride going, that's nice. Wrong person, whoops. I also need lust. Okay.
If we do the block, we will ruin our insight. But I'd like to do it so we can get the funnies going. Yeah. I'm fine. Okay, we lose the clash anyways. That's fine. Shh. You take a fair bit of damage, but like... We've got enough resources to be able to immediately, uh... Binds next turn. So it's a small price to pay, really. We'll do this so you get a chance to fix your mistakes, right? Next turn you'll be able to get back to Insight 3. Oh no, you're still at Insight 3. Oh. oh I guess because you didn't use the evade. That's right. Huh. I think we should just kill this thing. <laughs> if I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, it is the best way to just progress, right? Kill it already. We get a little bit more pride out of it, too, so that's nice, I guess. We could potentially use Otis Binds. I think we don't have enough pride still, because we need four. Yeah. We also would need Sloth for that, too, which we don't have. Believe it or not, we could try corroding it if we wanted to kill everyone. And that is tempting. I do love a good kill everyone. But um, we need to be a little bit more careful here. Slash that guy, sure. And I say that because... um. We're a little bit close on time because of how much I was stalling back there. <laughs> I stalled a little longer than I needed to. I should not have been caring about Gigi Hongu's insight nearly as much as I was, right? And I should have just went for the other attack after the one that we wanted to clash, right? Probably would have been I still forgot to put the announcers on. God. This happens a lot of the times, I feel like. Like, I didn't put on the Yi Song announcer until, like, after I finished Kanto 4, I want to say. It happens, right? Okay, you get all your funny binds next turn. Find yourself in order to get the funny passive. Okay. That's the wrong person once again. I'm having trouble selecting the right center a lot of the time for some unexplainable reason right now. Probably because it's late night, but we've still got so much candor to get through, so no time for that. We'll be a mass attack, so that'll be funny. It's something like funny then. If it is going to be a mouse tag, might as well make the most of it, right? But I think at least. And that should be a fairly funny way of going about doing it, right? I guess it is going for one of the ones that resists sloth, so that's unfortunate, but. That's how it goes. We should be able to get a little bit of mass tag skill 3 off with Sunflip. Like a theoretical mass tech instead of a literal mass tech, which is cool. Probably didn't need to execute the ones that are low HP since it said it targets, it prioritizes the ones at low HP already, right? Which is funny. Yeah, dodge you a little bit. Just so you're as much HP as you can be. We got all heads though, even at negative 7 standing, so it's not going to do a lot of damage to the others. That's fine. Now we just kill you too. What was the ego passive for binds again? Right, this one. Yeah, really good resonance support. That's cool. Couldn't remember it. But yeah. Could be nice. I think it's one of those ego passives where it's a really cool ego passive, but it's on a Vav ego anyways, so... Like, its usefulness is semi-limited, because if you use a Vav ego, a lot of the enemies are going to just be dead already, right? That's fine. Impenetrable path. Interesting. New stuff, apparently. These two and then five other things. Is it going to be like revived butlers or something? Oh, you're fixed now. Oh. 
That's interesting. We'll just keep it. We'll just have a Nelly and Heathcliff for now. That'll work. And yeah, um, Heathcliff is fixed for this. So what exactly are we going to be fighting that Heathcliff is so important? Are we going to be fighting Linton or something? Oh, we are fighting Linton. Okay, cool. Linton of the Wild Hunt. What do you mean, one out of question mark? Yeah, we call it, like, impenetrable paths. It is going to be a genuinely impenetrable path. This would be such a funny thing to be an un-, un like, winnable fight. Our base drop target is below 70. Speed is faster than the target's gain clash power. Okay, that's cool. Oh, we could nightmare hunt you. I do like the idea of nightmare hunting, Linton. But we don't know what you're weak to yet, though. Hmm. Who can say? A little bit of that clash tonight, we're hunt though, yeah. Some favorites, some neutrals, it happens. We win, nice. We're just too good. We're just too good, nice. And it'll do good damage. Weak to Slash and Wrath after all. Staggered that guy, nice. And Nightmare Hunt wins these. Won't do the most damage because it won't be all heads, but that was still pretty good for how much Sandy had, right? Oh. Dog. Dog says hello. Plus being staggered. Are you using Fletcher? I assume so. I mean, if he's using Remise, it makes sense that he's got other, you know, like, fencing terminology attack stuff, right? Flash you. Uh, attempt to kill that guy. Cool. Look good. Not attacking the one that's defending, because it's not really worth it. I just want to kill Linton, if possible, because we can stagger him here. Yeah, nice. We got a one-point expend knowledge that we got a Tails on. Riveting stuff. Yeah, we needed to get a lot of Tails if we wanted that to actually kill. That's fine. Can we stagger plus with you? We just barely did, and that hurts. Hatred, you love hatred, we know. You, 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 nice. Should be going fairly well. I wasn't paying attention if this stage is EXable, but it's probably like still a 10 turn EX, right? The question mark wave count just really does worry me. Because they've never done something like that before. It would make sense for more fights to lie about wave count and stuff, right? Okay, Linton doesn't quite die this turn. That's fine, we'll kill him next turn then. You're at 3 insight now, so you can resort to that funny... How much were we attacking Linton? Enough. Okay, yeah. I kind of just mentally was like, yeah, we're attacking him enough. Oh, did he drop a wrench? Oh, his corpse is a wrench. Oh no, that wasn't his corpse. Oh, I see. I wasn't paying attention, but no, that's one of the random T-Corp goon wrenches. Oh! E-Ray, question mark, question mark. This is the, this is an even stronger E-Ray. All right. I wasn't expecting to see, you know, Pegatule plus plus already. <laughs> it's really is e right question mark question mark. I really just need to, you know, to figure out plus cadence isn't really these guys ready. But half a burn on target, two units didn't target on dashboard. Oof. Eighty percent less burn damage. Luckily, that wasn't really our plan. That's fine. Five speed is awful though. Well, redirect what we can. 
Also dodge, but we can. Yeah, try that. Ooh. You can't redirect anything. It's just one body part, though. Interesting. It feels like something that deserves multiple body parts, but that's fine. You're being hit. Oh, I think we just gotta send it, yeah. Oh yeah, you haven't been attacked. You're not attacking yet. You're not being attacked, which is why I wasn't too focused on you. Alright, we lose these. Which means you get a lot of burn. You're gonna be spreading burn like a wildfire, right? Nice. Come on, you had your chance, Gregor. Unveil's doing a lot of damage, so that's nice. What are your what are your weaknesses look like? Present all physical stuff. Pretty fatal to gloom though, and we've got a lot of gloom, so that's nice. And this turn you've got a much more reasonable sanity, yeah god. Or speed. Sanity what I'm saying. Um, that's for sure. Okay, Gregor's the one who's gonna have to take the counter. That's fine. You got staggered. Oh wait, the counter went works goes again. Okay. I actually read what the counter does. I should have. Is I think the counter is like oh you reuse if target I wonder if it's like a if a target staggered or if it's like a target had enough burn or something. Wonder. Battle stop is good damage, nice. How do you feel about Lust? You're weak to Lust? That's good. I broke the body, so that's nice. Yeah, what does your counter do exactly? If target is 6, that was 5, 6 burn, reuse skill 2 times max. And on hit, gain 10 weak resist damage boost next turn. Which is a very interesting thing to see, because the only other time... The, this is the second showing of weak resist damage boost in the entire game. The only other time you can see weak resist... Oh no, we've seen weak... Yeah. Because we've seen it from, uh, specifically Yisaw and Crow's Eye View passive, and that's the only situation where we've seen it before. It's interesting, isn't it? Well, we should be able to kill you this turn without too much of a hassle. Nice. And then Reception Arts seals the deal. Yep, even though it's Wrath and Resisted, pretty nice. And there is another wave, yeah. Expecting it's- okay. Alright. This is like a- this is a def this is like a weekend version, of course. You can tell because it's much less HP. But they're really throwing all of it at us at once, god. I'll remove. Oh, you're you're, you're gonna remove. You're gonna re, re lament all over us, aren't you? As you like to do. Oh, can you clash any of these even? Oh yeah, you can clash her. Cool. Something, I guess. We'll roll with it. This is still just such a... It's such an insane, like, flow of, like... You know, story, like, oh, yes, you've killed these guys. We're bringing them back. I mean, they, it's not the first time they've done this, of course. It's very similar to what happens in the ending of... Or not in the ending, but in, like, the dungeon ish of Canto 4, right? Like, oh, the dead people have been brought back by the tears and the golden bow and stuff, right? It's a similar... It feels similar to that. Nightmare Hunt, Nightmare Hunt the Nightmare, please. Thank you. Okay, once again, uh, you're just gonna have to... No, you shouldn't be, go. And we, we can buy in. That's wholesome, then. Then you, since we can actually redirect that, sure. 
Nice, and then you there, redirect a little bit of everything, get the gloom passives going. Okay, nice, you've been staggered, which is very nice to see, especially because it means you're going to take a bunch of damage from the actual binds, isn't it? Okay, a little bit of scary tales, but that's fine. You get your funny three coin spend knowledge. Got a tails, but once again, that's fine. And you got a head on binds, so that's good. Some resisted stuff, but luckily, uh, only some. We are being attacked. How scary. Does it work for counters? I can't tell if it works against counters. I kind of doubt it. We can body sack you then. That'll work. I want to clash with the other two though, yeah. Run it like that. Dagger to you. We're roughly on turn 10, right? Once again, I didn't see the EX conditions, so hard to say for sure what's going on exactly. But yeah, seeing- I'm still kind of surprised by that Wrath Becatula, like, enhanced, enhanced version. I assume that's the E version. Because, you know, the normal versions are Zayans, the question mark versions are Tess, and the question mark question mark would be He, logically. Unless they're all the way up to Vav already, but... I don't know, it looks like it could have been a Vav, but I think he still works well enough, right? These guys are getting low. Good to see. Right, is his Heathcliff, yeah. You would. Yeah, it's a turn 11. We're still not through the hunt yet, though, right? A lot of ways to go. Reminds will be pretty good. Still pretty good for getting some sinking stacked on her. Not that it helps us the most, but it's still nice. We should be able to kill a Reef Lamenter here with the cyclical knowledge. If nothing else, we got that Mariachi Sinclair skill too to finish it, to seal the deal. We will actually need that, interestingly enough. Okay, he's actually got a good chance of winning Clash, though. Oh, yeah, he's staggered. Nice. It's funny to see, like, that corpse from that. One of the T-Corp backbeat guys. Someone, they just pulled out an identity of big werewolf Hindley onto some random goon from the back race. Like, how unfortunate for that guy, isn't it? That's the only thing you can redirect, so we just gotta do it like... What's wrong one? Gotta do it like that. Okay, good enough. Um, the, the Clash loss, you know, that's gonna be coming from Faust is a little unfortunate, but it happens, right? It might- she might win after all, right? Because she'll get through all that paralysis in like one Clash, right? Logically. Yeah. So she's fine, good. I figured as much. It's all about having faith in the end, right? Speaking of faith, kill that guy, kill that fraud. Will there be another wave after this, though, is the question. What if they just pull out the distorted Heathcliff fourth wave? <laughs> it might. It's possible. Actually, they might pull out the Nabno. <laughs> that would be- that would be even funnier if they just pull an Abno for that. Yeah, I could see it. Well, either way, these guys are close to just kind of going extinct, you could say. That's good. I like to see them going extinct, it feels nice. 
putting them in their rightful place, their graves. There we go. Okay, there's more. Okay, three wraps, guys. They've only got two slots each, though, but they're all countering, so that's rude. Need to not get too much burn, I suppose. We could actually safely corrode vines, and by that it means safely and kind of heavy asterisk. Recordation marks, wow, I don't want to do it again! Okay. Maybe you stupid. Stake's so stupid, I had to make it again, right? That's fine. We'll corrode this. He's gonna have to go full corrosion because of it, but that'll be funny to see, right? So he gets the weakened version of the funny status next next. Not that it really matters, because he's corroded and therefore he's gonna be spamming mass attacks. That's still fine. We'll have to see how this goes. God, look at that. Yeah, everyone's got a little bit of bind because of the gloom resonance. That's right, I forgot that was part of the bit. Okay. Everyone's being hit, yeah. Completely ever less everyone be hit? No. Okay. Oh, uh, you're not getting hit, at least that's something. And Mariachi Saint and Claire! This is the first time Mariachi Saint Claire's ever been like the fastest person on a team. Like it's it's, it's like a remarkable occasion, it feels like. Oh, we'll see how this goes. Nothing else begins Soul of a Sun, Cliff Reich. Nothing else, it will be a lot of damage, even though a lot of that damage will be headed directly towards our allies. Of course, I damage. Pretty wholesome. Like, we didn't kill any of our own people there. Let's go! I heard the voice and I really knew it was happening and I was so... Oh, there he is! Virgilius? Oh, am I seeing things? Yes, is it just me or is that... Oh, and it's playing the music from the Leviathan Reveal trailer. I know it's also in, like, a bunch of the early gameplay trailers, for, like, limbs and stuff, but this is, like, the Leviathan music still to me. It was that very same Virgilius, who never once seemed to care about what's happened to us, who never once took part in our journey. Wading through the wild hunt, into the basement. <laughs> Sir Virgilius, most illustrious color! My deepest apologies for my alert. This is not as keen as it often is. Could this be a dream? Is it truly thee? May I pinch thy cheek to assert my suspicions? Ah. Uh, sound like you've got enough energy to flap your gums. Oh? What fighting words? Pursuit of our own color has arrived indeed. <laughs> They're really doing it. God. Unobservable. Unob okay. Can we check his past? He did puncture. Searching should fall into the floor. I shall open the bath. Silence. Oh, there's like attack weight and stuff. Passive. With a red gaze of like three blind next to me against enemy 50% or more HP at turn end. If the enemy that's about to use a skill against the unit is not a full HP, that unit gains attack right now for every 20% remaining HP. Way not glad. <laughs> One super with thermogenesis on hit with a Gladius skill. We're gonna take fixed damage equal to X for the next HP because the effect expires. 
Let's kill you take three percent of max HP is fixed damage. This damage cannot kill this unit. And after attack, you'll fight fifteen percent of max HP for every unit killed. All oh, allies includes unit each shield they return. All allies includes unit does not drop low HP for this counter. Eyes are friends who blink. Carry to Meng based on SP. What? Is it was being shot? Many deal reaches the other Meng. This guy does not change. Unobservable. <laughs> what? Yo. Sorry, that, that that skill looked super weird to me for some reason. Um. Okay, question. Can we hit Virgilius if we corrode? <laughs> no, that's stupid. Uh. A little unfortunate, though. We really can't do very much this turn. So we're all. He's generating main based on SP. I've got no clue what's going on, though. I get the- I get the bit, though, of course, but god. It's like being super thermogenesis. <gasps> I'm so glad people are gonna stop doubting him. Finally, PM is just super tired of the of the jokes people make, and they're just like, Virgilius, kill these guys. It is not a reason for us to attack at all. Let's just let him do it. Honestly, like it'll be a lot cooler that way. Why would we attack when we've got a color to attack for us? Who's he said? As you can see, he shot open the path. I'm more confused about like the generating Mang thing because the generating Mang, like where is that showing up? Oh, you're trying to burn Virgilius. He's like the burn guy. Good luck there. Why? Why are you here? I mean, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be here, but still, I simply could not bear to walk past this familiar sensation emanating from underneath the manor. Oh, yeah. Very similar to, you know, what Virgilius has been through. The extent of the husks. And the terrible wailing. Virgilius gazes at the destroyed laboratory in the march of the wild hunt and collected assured silence. Though I couldn't know everything about the path he walked. I could see the smallest glimpse of it. But you... you never... ...involved myself. No, I haven't. And I shouldn't have. But it is pointless to waste your time on those whose path has ended. On those whose path has ended? You mean the Pekatula? Yes. I will handle this wild hunt in the Pekatula born from the basement. But there's literally no end to them. Can you? He's a color fixer. He's, he's, he's the red gaze for a reason. The red goat. Handle it, but we were in no shape to deny his help out of worry. Sinclair barely stopped himself. He couldn't bring himself to finish his sentence. Yet Virgilius understood the meaning of that silence. Yes, that is why I am handling this. Higo? He's doing it! He's been a proposal! There it is! Okay. What's happening now? Same stuff, same stuff still, it seems. Mostly, yeah. Uh. New passive, maybe? Or is it. No, same stuff. He's actually doing it. God. He's going all out for this. He's brought out his ego. Didn't need to do until now, I suppose. But there's just onslaughts of enemies. God, I am like so joyous right now. You've got no idea. You've no idea. Taking damage, but he's just resisting all of it. 
This is another remix of the main battle theme! There it was. Da, 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 da. Of course, we're just leaving it to Virgilius because, like, how could I not? I'm so, like, Kintix, there's the Shin. Yeah. <laughs> you see the Shin around the Gladius there. Um, I'm just curious, is it natural, like, status, though, right? Like, because it says he's generating it. He's generating main based on SD, like... Put them to a nice eternal slumber. Yes, they are being. We're not doing it. Virgilius is. But they are going to the eternal slumber. And it's it's been it's been long overdue. Getting his chance to draw blood of these frauds. God, it's so loud. It's so ear hurting in just like the perfect way. More of the shin. His damage numbers are just unobservable to us. <laughs> All right. Even Faust is speechless at this. <gasps> I was just looking at Virgilius with an inscrutable expression. Virgilius. Yes, I am aware. I won't be receiving everything I wanted from the contract. I will have to forgo my avarice, make compromises, or even give up a few clauses. I suppose I'll also be summoned to some bothersome meeting. Yet I was compelled to come here, nonetheless. Ah, so much for my determination to follow the great flow. But I simply could not permit this stench, this sight to exist any longer. Even if it meant that I must swim against the flow. Oh. So Very well. Oi, I... I don't do stuff like leaving a family behind. At least, not usually. You were all awfully talkative today. Whatever happened to following orders without questions? As you can see, I am not so weak that you must concern yourself with my well-being when there are much more pressing concerns. Besides, I know a more effective way of taking care of them. And... Virgilius looked down at the sword in his hand. I once left this weapon in the care of a kid I knew. When I returned, he... Who could have returned this weapon to my hands? There's no more. Darn it. This blade was all that remained, abandoned on the ground. The Gladius. My wish is that no one will ever have to understand the meaning of that sight. The endless onslaught of the pack of Tula and the wild hunt began swarming toward Virgilius. Family. A word I haven't heard in such a long time. What a blood-drenched word it is. So raw. Once again, I, I, I like saying this a lot. Please read Leviathan. Please read Leviathan. Blood poured from Virgilius' head like sweat and tears, seeping from where the crown dug under his skin. And the mantle began to ripple into existence once again. A mantle of blood. Let's leave this to Virgilius. We have to keep moving. <sighs> yeah? You gotta hand it to him. Red Gaze. He's so real. He's so raw. Thunk of one took five damage that fight. Cool. Yep, we're, we're making our way out of the basement. Virgilia is just cutting through the shreds, preventing these guys from following us. The rooftop fight, no cutscene. Although I think that's probably a really good stopping place. Yeah, I wasn't expecting this to happen, but I am so, so happy it did. Anyways, that'll be all for this time. Thank you all for watching, 
and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.